Teachers are getting a pay rise from October after the first salary review in seven years. A 48-year-old man has died after a fire early this morning in Jurong East. And on political succession, DPM Lawrence Wong says no decision has been made yet on when he will take over as Prime Minister. Good afternoon, you're watching The Big Story with me, Harian Diman. Subscribe to The Straits Times channel so you will not miss an episode. As part of efforts to attract and retain talent, the Education Ministry today announcing several changes to the salaries and schemes of service for its teaching staff. From October 1st, MOE teachers, allied educators and MOE kindergarten teachers will get a salary increase of between 5 and 10%. MOE says the pay rise will benefit about 35,000 education officers, 1,600 allied educators and 800 MOE kindergarten educators. Salaries for teachers and allied educators were last reviewed in 2015. Additionally, from next year, MOE will enhance the Connect Plan, which is a 30-year retention plan for teachers that gives payouts for those who remain in service for a certain number of years. MOE will raise the annual deposit quantum and payout ratio by about 20%. A new General Education Officer 5A substantive grade will also be created so that good performing teachers who do not hold key personal appointments can progress to this grade and benefit from a higher salary ceiling. The Straits Times' education correspondent Amila Teng weighs in on whether these initiatives will help to retain and attract talent to the teaching sector. Considering that the last review of teachers' pay was in 2015, I think this adjustment was necessary and will definitely help to make some teachers think twice about quitting. Um, the higher payouts that teachers, uh, after a certain number of years in service, will receive will also help them to, to um, think about staying on a bit longer. So I spoke to a representative from the teachers' union who said that a lot of feedback had been given to MOE about classroom teachers who... Uh, tend to get stuck at a certain pay grade if they don't continue on the leadership track. And um, MOE has responded with this new pay grade. Um, and whether, but whether these moves will actually um, uh, help in retention and attracting more people to the, to the teaching sector, uh, that will depend on whether the pay schemes continue to be competitive in over time, uh, whether they can match up to other sectors as well and also whether schools can address the perennial concerns about uh, heavy workload for teachers and work-life balance and other things. Investigations are underway to determine the cause of a fire in a flat in Jurong East this morning, which led to the death of a 48-year-old man. SCDF personnel arrived at the affected unit on the ninth floor at about 2.50 a.m. At that time, another person who lived in the same flat had already managed to get out. SCDF said the body was found at the location and pronounced dead by its paramedic. Now, the body was brought out from the unit in the afternoon by the police. MP for the Area Sustainability and Environment Minister Grace Fu, who was at the scene, says that the fire took some time to get under control due to the amount of materials stored in the flat. And she reminds residents to be socially responsible, not to accumulate objects which will pose fire risk to themselves and to their neighbours. And to make sure that the common corridor and stairwell are free of obstructions. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong says no decision has been made yet on the actual timing of when he will take over as Prime Minister. Mr Wong telling Bloomberg's editor-in-chief that work is currently underway to prepare him for, for him to succeed Prime Minister Lee Sen Loong. Now, two possible scenarios are Mr Wong could take over as PM before the next general election, which must be held by November 2025. Or PM Lee could continue to lead the party in the elections 
and then relinquish the position to Mr Wong if the PAP wins. On the economy, Mr Wong says inflation in Singapore is expected to peak in the next two to four months and will start to ease after that. But it's not likely to return to the low rates we got used to over the last decade or so, as 0 to 1% inflation was a historical anomaly. Inaugurated today, the new Gambling Regulatory Authority aims to monitor new and global trends and respond more adequately to emerging gambling products. The central body will regulate a range of gambling services, including those offered in casinos and lotteries, as well as sports betting and loot boxes in online video games. Minister for Communications and Information, Josephine Teo, says the formation of the GRA is an important next step for gambling regulation in Singapore, given how the landscape will be very different in five years with technology developments making it easier for people to gamble anytime and anywhere. Malaysia's former Prime Minister Najib Razak has failed in his bid to nullify the 1MDB trial that resulted in his conviction. Najib had sought a retrial by introducing new evidence, but the country's highest court unanimously threw out the motion forcing him and his lawyers to proceed with arguing his final appeal. Should he fail in his appeal, he faces 12 years in jail and 210 million ringgit in fines. Those are our top stories today. Visit straightsimes.com for more news and our YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe by clicking the red button below. I'm Harian Todiman. See you tomorrow for more stories on The Big Story.